Hello all, welcome to my channel Cybercoms. Uh, in this video, we're going to take a look at the Wi Fi Pineapple Nano, uh, do the unboxing, and also set it up on uh, Kali Linux, which I'm running it on a Windows 10 laptop on a VMware. So let's jump right into it and do the unboxing first, and then I'm going to show you how do I set it up on the Kali box and uh, do some Wi Fi stuff with the so this can be purchased from uh, hackfireshop.org or hackfire.org they sell all the full pen testing gadgets and stuff the pineapple nano is the smallest version of the uh, wifi pineapple they are selling right now uh, i think they're selling mark 7 which is a uh, bigger in size and uh, has more capabilities so let's uh, open the box and see what we've got inside so we've got some getting started and in the box instructions and see what can it how do we set it up and what can be done using this one so we've got the pineapple nano usb white cable and also a couple of rpsma antennas small ones i've used this before so i'm pretty sure how do i do this one so this is the actual nano gadget we've got some antenna inlets here usb that goes into your laptop or uh, OTG cable or running on the phone. There's also a memory card slotted here, a micro SD card, which is used to save uh, the Wi Fi pineapple modules and also the other bin files in case if you're running any niche campaign kind of stuff uh, that are supported by the modules uh, of Wi Fi pineapple. Inside the box, we get our USB Y USB cables, and then we also got a couple of antennas. So let's set this up real quick, and then we're gonna plug this into our Kali box and start some surfing. We're plugging in the antennas right now. This one goes in here. This one goes into the laptop. Okay, let me connect this to the laptop and see how does it work. Alright, we see a blue light flashing right now as soon as I got this connected to the machine. Now let's get beginning. Let's get started with the sniffing. Alright, so this is how we get into the dashboard to log into a white hat and apple. The IP is 172.16.42.1 and it runs on port 1471. Uh, as soon as you set it up, it's going to ask you to log in. So this login credentials are basically for uh, logging into the Pineapple Nano itself. Uh, if you see something different, so if maybe if you're setting this up for the first time, then you're asked to create a root ID and password and also a SSID that runs on Pineapple uh, for some different kinds of uh, modules for from different kinds of that. So I have already set up the login credentials and I'm gonna log this into and this is how you see the dashboard uh, applying to all number of clients connected if you're already using it or someone else is connected to your Wi-Fi connected number. If you already sniff some of the local traffic within your vicinity and you're gonna see the SSID of that uh, uh, Wi-Fi Wi-Fi SSID is over here. You have some different kinds of modules here, clients connected to it. Yeah, the module section will let you download modules and also use some of the existing ones. I just download a couple of them. Uh, DOT and Email Portal, which is quite famous. Uh, 
filters here we can set up some SSIDs or MAC addresses to uh, filter them you know which are allowed to uh, connect your Wi-Fi Pineapple Nano or vice versa the finite logging stuff so all this data is going to get populated once you start sniffing the Wi-Fi traffic and uh, you know to use different modules within the Wi-Fi Pineapple Nano so I just want to show you how you start a start a recon using the nano. I'm gonna start the Pine AP which is kind of similar to set, setting this up in the monitor mode. We already started sniffing some traffic. Let's see where it's gonna go. All right, I found some of the traffic here, which are running on my local. All right, I got some traffic going on here. I got some SSIDs in the pool right now. Now we got a pretty decent number of SSIDs. A pineapple line I picked up. So we can do a lot of more. Uh, attacks on, on you know, these SSIDs if you're authorized to do so. Do not ever do anything which you're not authorized to do. So, uh, you can see the clients associated to a particular SSID. Alright, that's all for this video. Please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and uh, Please mention your feedback in the comment section. Thanks so much for watching this.